here with former Broncos head coach Gary Kubiak. What a special night tonight is, huh? Yeah, it really is. You know, just uh, have a chance to come back. I've been here a few times for John, Zim, Shannon, uh, and this kid's special, TD. I say kid. He's a, he's a man, but uh, what a great career he had, and I was there for every, every year of it, and uh, I think the world of him. He's going to be the fifth Bronco inducted into the Hall of Fame. Before we're on that same team, how special was that team? Well, you know, I think when you're going through it, you know, you you got a pretty good football team, and obviously we had a lot of great things happen. But something like this, you never know until you know down the line, years down the line. But I think it's all coming true. Just how great great a team that was, how unselfish it was, and uh, what it takes to win in this league. Well, we were talking earlier about how you d sort of discovered TD. Can you share that story? I don't know if I discovered him. We we were all watching a lot of film. Obviously, we thought he was a, a pretty darn good player. Uh, I just happened to have a friend who had coached him uh, at Georgia uh, for that period of time. I think it was a two-year period. And uh, he, he really just helped us out with him, reassured us how great a kid he was, that he had been hurt the year before. And basically, hey, y'all go get him, take a chance on him. You think he'll be a great pro. So thanks to Greg Davis and a couple of phone calls, it sure helped. When did you know he was going to be something special? Well, I think early, you know, uh, First off, TD was right away was not, uh, you know, he wasn't happy just to be there and uh, be be a part of pro football. You could tell right away this kid planned on playing and it took about five weeks for him to become our starter and the rest is history. So, it, you know, it's all him and what he stood for as a person and as a man and how driven he was to be great. We're happy that TD's getting in tonight, but you think next year maybe Mr. B? Oh, yeah, definitely. Long overdue and uh, I'll definitely be here for that one, but uh, it's time, so hopefully it happens next year. What do you feel like his lasting impact will be on the NFL? Uh, oh, I mean, it's all over. His imprint's all over the National Football League. His success with his franchise, I mean, speaks for itself, but what Mr. B has meant to the league throughout the years, and, you know, you see Jerry going in tonight. Uh, you know, in my opinion, Pat should have been there about, about five or ten years ago, but uh, I think everything, life is fair, and I think we're going to see him here real soon. Can you tell us about your new role with the Broncos? We're happy to have you back. Yeah, I, uh, I took my computer course yesterday, but <laughs> no, uh, John and uh, Matt have given me basically an assignment. I'm really looking forward to it. I, you know, I've been a part of football in a lot of facets. You know, assistant coach, coordinator, head coach. Now I get a chance to be a part of it from a personnel standpoint. So I'm very driven. Uh, I want to be there when the Broncos win a fourth world championship. I think we saw in the hallway the other day a sticky note that said Gary Kubiak on the door, huh? Yeah, it was there. I, <laughs> I got there at 5 in the morning, and Matt said, I'll put a sticky note on your office there. So, no, they've been great, and it's great to see everybody see the players yesterday. They look good. So just very proud to, to have been a part of the organization continue to be a part. Coach, we're glad you're back. Great to good see, see you guys, you. too. All Thank right, you Thanks, Coach. Much. Appreciate okay. it. Thanks.